Hi, I'm Jim Dodson, the Florida Bike Guy. So is there an e-bike law in Florida? Uh, the answer is yes, there is, because Florida has joined a number of other states in actually defining what an e-bike is. And that is a very important distinction that we all need to keep in mind. Um, an e-bike in Florida, as Florida describes them, is a bicycle and they have the same rights and responsibilities as a bicycle. They're treated the same as a traditional bicycle. But Florida has adopted um, a three classification system for defining what an e-bike is. Um, and they're, here they are. So a class one e-bike is one that has pedal assistance with a top speed of 20 miles per hour. And the way that operates is that uh, the rider is moving the pedals. It's just that the motor is giving some assistance to the rider, making it a little bit easier. But when, the, when they reach 20 miles an hour, the motor phases out. And you can actually ride an e-bike faster than 20, I suppose, but you're pedaling a much heavier bike all on your own energy. So that's the first classification, a pedal assisted to 20 miles an hour. There is also a category two or class two e-bike, which is throttle only. Uh, this is one that you could, you could actually have an e-bike with no pedals, I assume. Uh, most of them do have pedals, but a throttle only is just what it says. You, can, you have a motor and the motor runs the e-bike entirely up to 20 miles per hour. And the third classification is a, an e-bike, which is pedal assisted up to 28 miles per hour a category three or class three e-bike. Um, so there is a, there are considerations to be given as to what e-bike you buy. Uh, the important thing to remember, there are vehicles being sold today, many of them that are generally lumped under the category of an e-bike, but they are no longer a bicycle at all as Florida recognizes them. Um, there, are bicy there are bicycles out there, e-bikes, allegedly, that will go 30 or 35 or 40 or 45 or even more miles per hour. So if a, uh, an alleged e-bike has the ability to go in excess of 28 miles an hour, more than a class three, then it's entering the uh, description of something other than an e-bike. You know, it's a moped or it's an electric motorcycle. It's some other uh, type of a vehicle. And the reason that's important is, of course, you can ride a bicycle in Florida. Uh, you don't need to have a tag or a driver's license or specific insurance on your bicycle. But if you get a, an electric uh, vehicle, a bicycle, if you want to call it that, that goes more than 28 miles per hour, then you're going to fall into a category that may require a tag and specific insurance, and it may require a driver's license. So this is a very important distinction when you walk into some shop and start looking at e-bikes. The other thing to remember, when you're riding an e-bike on the road, you have the danger of being struck by a car. We all do, just like we do when we ride our bicycles. And you want to make sure that you're actually riding a bicycle because if you are ever involved in a crash and a car were to run into you and cause some damage to you, uh, we have a big problem in Florida that there is no mandatory bodily injury liability that drivers have to buy. So you can have many, many operators of vehicles out there driving cars that have no liability insurance. They don't have any insurance that's going to pay you a dime in the event of an injury. So you can self-protect yourself by buying uninsured or underinsured motorist coverage. I'm going to say uninsured because it all is the same coverage in Florida. It's kind of treated very similarly. So we can protect ourselves on a bicycle by making sure that on our auto policy, we have purchased uninsured motorist coverage. And that will protect you against a driver who has no liability insurance or some, but not enough to pay the full value of your claim. And I've, I've done other videos on uninsured motorist coverage, and I would urge you to maybe go over there and educate yourself on the issues. Uh, the important thing in terms of e-bike law is that uninsured motorist covers you on a bicycle. It does not necessarily cover you if you're on a motorcycle or something else that's 
um, in some other classification. Uh, so you want to make sure that when you're riding your, your bicycle on the road, you're covered by your uninsured motorist coverage, and you will be covered if you have a class one, class two, or class three e-bike. And that's an important thing to keep in mind. Um, the other thing to remember too, is that e-bikes are restricted in some, certain areas. There's a restriction in the statute. Um, bicycles in general are permitted to ride on the sidewalk. But there are places, I know down in, Saint, in Sarasota, for instance, in St. Augustine and some other areas, they're permitted to restrict the use of bicycles on sidewalks in the urban areas where tourists are running around the sidewalks are crowded. But they also have, the, the when they enacted this e-bike law, they gave the municipalities the right to control e-bikes on sidewalks in their jurisdiction. So you need to make sure that your jurisdiction where you live and ride that you can ride your e-bike there and where you can and where you cannot. Another thing to keep in mind is that we have an extensive trail system in Florida, which is really, really awesome. And it's getting better every day, literally. Um, but there are trails, uh, the, the sun trail system, if we call it, sh uh, shared use non-motorized. There is an issue as to whether you can take an e-bike on a non-motorized trail. And I would suggest to you that before you go onto, one, onto a trail, make sure that the trail permits e-bikes. You don't want to be given a citation for riding on a trail that doesn't permit an e-bike. In general, the, the general trails do permit them. The ones that generally do not are the sun trail system, which may prohibit motorized, uh, motorized uh, bicycles. So that is the general law of e-bikes. Um, like I said, we have additional information on our website. If you have questions about an e-bike, we actually produce our own e-bike buying guide. Uh, we make it available on our website. And I'd urge you to go there if you're interested in an e-bike. Start with our information because we explain e-bikes and the mechanisms and all the cap classifications, the things I talked about here. Make that to you. We'll give that to you free of charge. Just download it. Um, I'm Jim Dodson, the Florida Bike Guy. I've enjoyed talking to you about e-bike law in Florida. Take care and be safe. Bye.